Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 20. How to set slicing parameters. Episode 1. After pre-processing and editing the model, finally, we are now in the slicing stage. So, how should we set the parameters in slicing, such as layer thickness, exposure time, and slicing speed? What is the operation procedure for slicing? In this episode, let's learn about it. Number 1. Steps of slicing. First of all, choose your printer. Learn more details please watch Lesson 3, How to Add 3D Printers in Chichibox Pro. Second, select the slice configuration. The slicing configuration is the database for the software to slice the model file as well as the execution conditions and rules for printing. It contains a number of different parameters, each of them has their own characters, they could interact with each other and affect the final result of the prints. Third, the types of slices. Chichubox Pro provides us with two different types of slices, single parameter and multi-parameter, we will explain the differences between these two types in this episode later. Finally, image editing and file saving. After slicing, we can pixel level editing and island detection for each layer of the image, the final check before printing. Number 2, choose the printer and slicing configuration. To add a printer, you can use add machine in the start panel, or click plus at the bottom of the main window, or add it as a plugin. After the printer has been confirmed, we need to select the slicing profile. The profile can be a file from the current list, or a saved file previously. Meanwhile, you can set a new set of configurations and it always can be modified, except for the non-editable parameters. Number 3, Slicing Parameters. After the printer and the configuration file are confirmed, we may also need to set the slicing parameters in the configuration file. Double-click the profile name to open the slicing configuration pop-up window, there are two sections, slice configuration and printer. In the slice configuration, including resin, print, g-code, and advanced, while the printer includes name, type, resolution, xyz axis and other details of the currently selected printer. Please note that due to the different characteristics of each printer, the content of the specific parameters in the slice configuration and the final result will be different. It's a bit of complicated and we will learn about the details in lesson 21, which would be our last episode. Number 4, how to choose the slice type. Slicing is the last step before exporting printable files, but choosing which type of slicing is something we need to think about carefully. The default slicing type of Chichibox Pro is single parameter slicing. Single parameter slice means Chichibox Pro will slice the model data according to the default profile we selected. The model data is sliced within the printable area. Please note that when your model is placed outside the available area of the print platform, the model will not be complete. Multi-parameter slice means Chichibox Pro provides three different modes for slicing, model, height, and cross-section. Also, you can set multiple configurations in any mode. It should be noted that only the .ctb format supports multi-parameter slice mode currently. When you choose multi-parameter slice to set the slicing parameters, you can click the plus on the left add to configuration files, and the trash bin on the right is for delete. Also, the gear icon on the right side contains all the parameters in the print and advanced types. Okay, let's talk in detail in these three modes. First one, model. Choose this mode. The slicer will use different printing parameters for different models, and each model can set its own printing parameters. Second one, height. Choose this mode, you can use different printing parameters for different height ranges of the model. In other words, you can customize the height range of the model and set printing parameters for each of the height ranges. Third one, cross-section. Choose this mode, you can use different printing parameters for different cross-sections of the model, and the different area ranges can also be customized. In this mode, there is a situation where one profile can be applied to different cross-sectional areas. As the example showed, to provide diversified choices, Chichibox Pro sets the default profile for all parameters, therefore, no matter which mode is selected, please note these three matters. One, if you don't set the specified interval, the slicer will execute according to the default profile. 2. The bottom layer and transition layer print fields will be executed according to the default profile. 3. The non-editable items, marked, and the unshowed parameters will be executed according to the default profile. Number 5. How to edit and save the image file after slicing. After slicing, we will enter the slicing preview interface. 
you can click back on the upper left if you need to exit. The interface can be roughly divided into four areas. On the top of the window is the menu bar of editing function, which includes parameter manager, island detection, show island information, delete island, edit pixels, format brush, magnifier, zooming in and out, and scaling parameter adjustment. On the left side is the display window, which shows the state of the model before slicing, and also supports to browsing and editing the model. The middle part is the image window of the model slice layer, we can slide over the model to view the image information of each layer, and also can choose full screen or not. On the right side is the slicing information of the current model, including printer, resin, volume, weight, price, estimated printing time, and network sending and saving functions. The slice parameter editing function allows us to modify some of the printing parameters without exiting the slice preview mode. Please note that the slice parameter editing is only available in single parameter slice mode. Don't forget to perform the island detection before editing the islands, otherwise the show island information, delete island, edit pixels, and format brush functions cannot be activated. Network sending. You can directly send sliced data to the printer for printing. The button only works if your printer supports network sending. Please note that to use the this function, your printer needs to insert a USB flash drive to store the received files. And make sure that the printer and the computer are under the same VLAN. Also, transfer speed is limited by the printer's network module. Most of the printer's network transfer speed rate is about 500 kilobytes per second, so we do not recommend using network send for large files. Save the files, we need to select the format as the one recognized by the corresponding printer. In addition, Chichubox Pro also provides three different saving modes. All, Model, and Support. The default setting is all. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Chichubox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.